Welcome to the Vector Garden. In this tutorial, we are going to create and also animate a sparkler. So this background is a photo. It's a free photo from Adobe Stock. I'm going to put the link in the description of this video and I'm just going to duplicate it on these artboards. So I've already prepared those for the animation. Uh, there are two important things. The document mode needs to be RGB because of the blend modes we're going to use. And also the artboards need to be whole pixels. So if you turn on one of the corners, then there should not be any comma values in this. And that's the case for all the artboards so that we don't get any pixel shifts. So let's duplicate this background. I'm just going to drag it with Alt and Shift pressed. So align it to here and then just transform again a few times and once more like this. And now I'm going to select them all and then just lock them by pressing Command 2 or Control 2 on Windows. And let's zoom in and start with this wire for the sparkler. So we're just using the rounded rectangle tool and draw this wire like this. I'm going to draw it in vertical direction. So let's just go here and round these slightly more. And now let's apply some gradients to it to make it look like round. So in window gradient, we're going to set it up. And I have already used one of those gradients here. So I'm just going to apply it, but we need to have different colors and I've applied it to the stroke. So let's exchange that with shift and X like this and get the fill to the front. And I have set up some swatches that I want to use in this. So let's just double click this, go to the swatches and I have set up a dark gray and I'm going to use a lighter gray here. Let's just move it over here, create a new gradient stop like this and apply the dark gray again, like so. And now let's check this with the gradient tool down here. Move this slightly over there and that's okay. Now we're going to create the tip of that sparkler where it's glowing. And for that, we need the appearance panel. Make an additional fill by just clicking that add new fill button. And I'm going to change the colors in here to this and then let's move that stop over here and change it to that and create an additional stop. And that one gets this color here. And I'm going to set it to zero opacity. Now that's the wrong direction, but we're going to correct that in a minute. Just take the gradient tool and then let's just drag this down and again, press the shift key for this. Drag it down slightly more so we get a nice glowing tip like this. So this glows. And the nice thing is it's just one object and the gradients are applied in different directions. So let's get this over here and rotate it a little like this. I'm going to just compare it like so. So this is the sparkler and it needs to be in all of these, uh, in all of these artboards as well. 
and we need to check out how to move it. I didn't n note the vertical distance, so let's just create one rectangle and I'm going to duplicate it once like this to just get that value and now we can just select this and just transform again by pressing Command D or Control D on Windows and duplicate it to all these artboards like this. So this is the sparkler and now we need that sparkling stuff and in order to draw that I'm going to start with a circle and just draw this kind of circle like this. That's nice. And we do not need a fill so we're going to the appearance panel and get rid of that fill. We are going to use strokes for this. So let's start with a stroke and I'm going to make it around 16 points like this and let's get into the stroke, set the cap to round it and add a dashed line and the dashed line has a dash of zero and a gap, a really large gap of 600. And you see we do not get many dots on it but this will get sorted out in a minute. So we need more points so let's go to effect, to sort and transform roughen and let's roughen that. Get more detail, get a larger size and you see we get a lot of those points so get less detail, more of that. So it's, this is kind of a nice number of points and now we need to sort out the appearance. So the Ruthen effect got applied to that stroke alone because it was selected when I applied it and it needs to be dragged out of here so it gets applied to the path. And now I'm going to outline the stroke. So let's go to effect, path, outline stroke and you see this gets applied at the bottom which is correct because then what Illustrator does is it first roughens the path then applies the stroke with the points and then outlines them. So now we need to create the sparkles and for that we are going to use roughen again like this. We need a second one and just going to OK because it's at the wrong position. It need, needs to be applied after outline stroke and you see this already looks promising so let's go into the effect again. Let's set more detail and it's nice. So let's see that we can get a nice number of details and then also adjust the size and see that we can get this like so. Okay, so the next thing is we want this to look more interesting and for that I'm going to enter the stroke again and let's go to the gradient panel and let's apply a gradient to that stroke. So I'm just going to drag that color into that gradient like this, drag that out and then let's see what we can get here. So this one is too dark, let's change that to a lighter color like this. We can only use this type of gradient on the stroke. The others will not give us nice results so the next thing that we are going to do is set the opacity of this object so I'm going to use a different blend mode. I'm going to use hard light to blend it into that background image and then let's apply a second stroke 
I'm just going to duplicate the first one. And in here, let's edit that gradient slightly. So maybe like this. And I'm going to duplicate that one so that it's differently aligned. And we can also make that stroke wider and maybe get fewer dots on it so that they are slightly different like this. Okay, so the next thing is, of course, we are going to animate it. So, of course, you could use this as a still image and apply even more strokes to that, different colors, whatever you like. But we're going to animate it. So I'm going to copy it and then click on that last artboard and edit, paste in place. And now select those two and object blend make. Those are too many, so let's double click the blend tool and enter the number of steps, which is five, like this. And because Ruthen has a nice randomizer built in, they all look differently, which is what we need. Only the first and the last are the same. So let's animate this. You could use Photoshop for that. I'm going to link the tutorial in the description, but we're going to use GIF Studio and we're going to import the artboards, only these, the first six. And this takes a while, so let's just wait for it. And I'm going to select them all, so Let's select them all and set up the duration like this. And let's have a preview. And you see, it's a nice sparkling sparkler that we can now export. And that's it. There's our sparkling image created in Illustrator. Have a happy new year or other celebration that you are going to use it for.